Hello and welcome to cooking. I'm Tom and we're, we're Jordan. Well, today we're going to show you how to cook omelet, eggs, egg, egg. omelet, eggs, omelet, omelet, omelet with eggs. How do you make an omelet, Tom? Uh, well, first you need this one, that one. What you want to do first? Get your butter, just rub it in. So what you need to do, just rub it in, just like r rub it nice and in. Now you're good. Now you're ready to go with the cooking. Let's go. The next step you're going to need is eggs. Four of them, please. Um, you take two and I'll do two. We're going to break them into here. Separate the eggs from their shells. Oh, Jesus. That's one. And number two. I'm doing it the uh, Jamie Oliver technique. Nice! And then... <coughs> <coughs> okay, so that's four... Ah, fuck, three eggs! Do you help this? Three oh. eggs! I'll put this. Next step is grab a whisk. Perfect. Okay, now next step. Olive oil comes in next, I think. Pour it! Drizzle it! Drizzle yeah. it. Now that you've got your olive oil, you need to really like, you need to beat the eggs. <laughs> it's important to keep beating the eggs until you get a nice texture to them. Um, and get some air in there. <laughs> it's important to keep beating the eggs until you get some texture in there. Um, and a nice bit of air. Keep mixing until... <laughs> Keep beating the eggs until you've got one nice solid creamy colour and you can't tell the difference between the yolk and the white bits. <laughs> the next step is very important, you need to get some milk. Because um, it's very important you keep drinking throughout the day whilst you're doing it. <laughs> whilst one of you is drinking your milk, the other one can- Whilst one of you is drinking your milk- <laughs> Whilst one of you is drinking your milk, the other one can be caring for the eggs, making sure they're still all nice and creamy. <laughs> As you can see, our eggs are looking lovely. There's a little bit of shell in there, but that should come out of yours when you beat it. We just didn't beat it quite long enough. Now we're ready for the next step. Okay. Oh. The next step to making an, any good omelette, here you go, you hold this, is to add some, some nice flavour in there. So we've got a variety of flavours. We've got some, um, some tomato we grew in our garden. Mm. <laughs> the best mixing tool is always a bread knife. Oh, that's looking good in there, yeah. Um, some other flavour is some orange, which is looking good. Yeah, see, look at all that flavour just coming out, that's good. Mm, that's some good flavour. Flavour. What's your favourite flavour, Tom? My favourite flavour is egg. We can add some egg, that's no problem. I forgot. If your favourite flavour is, like Tom, eggs, just add another egg, that's easy. Um, <laughs> but really, whatever your favourite flavour is, you can just add that in right now. Well, is I'm actually a big fan of uh, hot chocolate. M&M hot chocolate, sponsor. Although he is doing it today without the hot. Like me, chocolate, if that's your favourite flavour, you can add some of that. That should do it. Um, you're going to want to mix this in though, nice and good. Mm, see, that's that's looking tasty right there. Now the next step is to actually cook the omelette, and we're using quite a non-traditional method, smoking. Yeah, smoking adds quite a lot of flavour to your eggs, I tend to find. Nice, yeah. That's perfect. You're gonna want to keep adding heat to your eggs. I find we find it's best to add it slowly, like a slow cooker. Um, so if you just <sighs> chop the powder. Have you got your lighter? Yeah. Just... <coughs> Don't go too big a step at once. Just yeah. See that's just it. We've got a bit of a flame. Nice. Yeah. Yes, see they're looking good already. You can see the difference there. You're gonna to wanna to grab your pan. One of your buddies, hold your pan. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Oh. That's how you know it's good. That's good. So you're gonna to wanna to put this. Do you want a taste of it? <laughs> <laughs> the lucky one of you will get to keep the bowl to try some later on. So I think the high heat is usually best. So now that your omelette's on the heat, you're going to want to stay with it and uh, keep checking on it every now and then. Give it compliments. You look nice today. You smell good. That'll do. Not too many. Not too <laughs> many. We're not going to spoil it. Mmm. 
salt, pepper. Mind you, it's really well. The flavour of your palms in your food, I find. If it uh, tastes like you, it will taste lovely. Salt, a bit of a salty flavour. But not too salty though. No. Because then it will taste horrible. <laughs> Uh, what it's time for now, Tom? I think it's time for the Delia Smith yes, touch. Yes, it is. Adding this to any omelette should really bring the perfect kick. Here we go, there's our Delia Smith. It's just... So it's nice. Perfect. It's fair. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I'm not a communist, but everyone should get the same amount. Mmm. It's lovely. That is the best omelette I've ever seen. Oh, oh, looks like I'm in luck. Yes, I got the Delia Smith touch. Damn. Maybe next time, huh? You did get the cigarette though for that smoky oh. flavour. So then once you're done with it, so you can just chuck this straight in the sink. Um, it's important not to do your dishes while you go. You should save them for the end, because you don't want to ruin your cooking experience. Knife and fork is perfect for this. You go, just one hand. Japanese style. We're going to open a bottle of wine and yep. have a great time. See you on the next episode of We're Cooking mm, with Jordan and Tom. You see. Oh, I've got a bit of shell. Oh, no, I've got that then, too. I think that was a great episode this time. That was great. I'm stuffed, I don't know about you. Be sure to check out all our other works. Yep. Um, join us next time when we're cooking Nigella. Lovely. There's a little bit of shell in there, but that should come out of yours when you beat it. We just didn't beat it quite long enough. <laughs>